Uh, we have fulfilled all the requirements prescribed by aviation regulations. Uh, absolutely every step we took during these tests, uh, starting with the stages of preparation, ending with their implementation, was controlled by certification bodies, aviation rules in force, both on the territory of the Russian Federation and abroad. Imitation of any smoke fire in the cabin is not required, so this element was absent during the tests. The success of an emergency evacuation depends firstly on what configuration the aircraft made an emergency landing, whether the fuselage remained as a whole, whether there is a fire outside, whether there is a fire inside the aircraft, as well as on compliance with all norms and requirements for the design of emergency exits. Their equipment, equipment leaving and escape stairs, and of course the action of cabin crews who organize the process of emergency evacuation itself. Come to me quickly. Jumps the flight attendant, who took a seat at door one after the evacuation of passengers from cabin one, saw that in the area of door two, a cloud of passengers who had not yet had time to leave. She quickly got her bearings. I ran around the cabin on the seat so as not to interfere with the escape of individual passengers and began to lead on the spot, redirecting people to the free emergency exit one. Thus she redirected about 20 people eliminating this problem of passenger boredom and making tasks easier for her colleague on two doors. Any training, rehearsals of test participants are strictly prohibited by aviation rules. This is controlled by certification bodies. So any training There were no passengers on board, except for the crew. Crew members were trained and familiarized with the aircraft cabin, with its features. Among the participants of these tests, I can definitely assure you that there are no stuntmen. During the evacuation, in order to prevent the participants from getting injured, we seem to protect them by Next to the opening boiled ladders, cardboard boxes were used, which in the event of a sudden overturning of participants overboard, the emergency ladder could prevent them from falling to the ground. For the unprepared, the process of getting off the plane itself is tremendous stress, but obeying the biomechanics, you get off the plane quickly. You don't run, you walk fast. You need to take a step forward on the ladder. You will land on the ladder with five points and go forward. Those who try to sit on the grass lose time and are hit by runners walking behind them. Those who jump hard can miss the ladder and also get injured or just fly off to the side. All of us flying in ordinary life bring hand luggage with us for placement in the luggage racks, but often many passengers place outside the luggage racks. This is under the seat in front of you. Accordingly, the requirements of aviation rules require that at least 50% of all personal belongings be. Before the evacuation begins, our valiant, respected experts are placed along the entire cabin and prevent emergency evacuation. You are the same three, you. When you just sit down and undergo pre-flight training, that is instruction, still listen. Maybe the conductors don't mind their own business, as they mostly do. It's pretty important to know where to go. Try to cope with panic and be sure to listen to what the flight attendants will command. Follow the voice, follow the gestures and investigate all their commands and as quickly as possible leave the plane. Just leave without things. Anything can be an obstacle in terms of overcoming the narrow opening of the emergency exit 
you can get caught, lose orientation for something nearby, fall, forming a traffic jam, counting in seconds. You don't have to think about things, you have to save your life. Attention! Initiate an incident correctly and efficiently, yes indeed. Send everything, she will win at the weekend. Faster, faster, faster. Can you imagine? Imagine that children need comfort and security. Here stood someone unusually composed. I embraced him with all my might, trying to keep him close and provide a sense of safety. Yes, I aspired to self-care too while doing so. Well, how to get out on? Conquer irrational fear and chaotic panic while striving to execute everything perfectly, despite the overwhelming odds. Following crew instructions became paramount in such conditions, without exception. Here's the time. This is an incredibly critical examination. Extensive preparations were made and we proudly celebrate the efforts of our dedicated team. Everything went wonderfully. The certifier delivered their conclusive judgment. Amazingly, we achieved my objective with a solid 90 seconds remaining. Moreover, this success means we can hand the aircraft to the airline, who will ensure it accommodates the maximum permissible number of passengers as intended. Generate by AI.